In their latest five-day rolling average released yesterday afternoon, Gingrich led Romney by 11 points. In the Pew poll, his lead was slightly larger. In the NBC News Wall Street Journal poll released this morning, the lead was 17 points. In addition this week, we've had a dozen new polls in key primary and caucus states. What are all these results telling us? First, that the Republican nomination battle has been one of the most volatile in the recent history of presidential politics. Since August, in Gallup's data, Perry, Kane, Romney, and now Gingrich have been the leader. And in the distant recesses of time earlier this year, Huckabee, Trump, and Palin either led or were tied for the lead. At one point in Gallup's polling, Gingrich's support among Republicans dropped to 4%. In Pew's polling, it dropped to 3%. The 44% of Republicans in the new NBC Wall Street Journal poll this morning thinks Ging think Gingrich has a better chance to beat Obama, and 40% say that Romney does. Since 1980, the moderate candidate has won Republican nominations, in part because conservatives haven't been able to unite around a single candidate. That could be changing now. As for the mood, which is what I specialize here at AEI, satisfaction with the way things are going in the country is very low, as is the view that the country's on the right track. The vast majority of Americans still believe that we're in a recession. Consumers don't think their wages and jobs are coming back anytime soon. They don't see the values of their homes rebounding, or do they believe that their retirement funds are going to be restored? 